Many applications, ranging from cars to financial markets to wearable sensors, generate large amounts of time series data. These data sets can often be broken down into a sequence of states. For example, raw sensor data from a fitness tracking device can be interpreted as a temporal sequence of actions, walking for 10 minutes, then running for 30 minutes, then sitting for one hour, then running again for 45 minutes. Or, using car data, a driving session can be expressed as a sequential timeline of a few key states, turning, speeding up, slowing down, stopping at a red light, going straight, and so on. Learning these sequences can help us draw interpretable conclusions from the data. However, in general, these states are not predefined and we do not know what they are or what they refer to. Therefore, we need to learn both the states themselves and also how the time series splits into these states. However, achieving both goals simultaneously is not easy. In this paper, we propose a method of doing so called Toplitz Inverse Covariance Based Clustering, or TIC. Our goal is to take a multivariate time series and split it into states. Here we define each state by a correlation network showing the relationships between the different sensors, or signals of data, across time. Rather than traditional clustering methods, which rely on distance, we use structural network relationships to learn the different states of the system. These networks encode the relationships between the different sensors across time. For example, in cars, if you're about to make a turn, then pressing the brake pedal now might mean that you're about to turn the steering wheel in a split second as you start your turn. However, if you're slowing down at a stop sign instead, then pressing the brake pedal doesn't affect the steering wheel at all. Our method is broadly applicable to problems from many different domains. We've released a tick solver on GitHub, so we encourage you to check it out and try it on your dataset.